You want to talk about the farm bill? Sure. Uh, again, I was I was I was disappointed to vote against the farm bill. Uh, even the day before the farm bill came to the House floor, I I, I thought I was voting yes on the bill. Uh, it, it, it includes a lot of uh, provisions important to agriculture in Washington State. It's a, it's a good, strong farm policy. It, uh, it doesn't include the counter-cyclical language that I've been working on and, and Senator Murray's been uh, working on in the Senate specifically, but it includes an option for our wheat growers. It's a revenue option that they're still analyzing as to whether or not it's, uh, it meets their needs. but. We, we think there's some potential there. It includes um, specialty crops, um, an expansion of research, as well as market assistance for specialty crops, which is important. Uh, oh, and I voted against it, yes. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> um, it, 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 uh, it, 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 it actually passed the House Agriculture Committee unanimously, um, passed out uh, early in the week, unanimous. Um, and between uh, the House Agriculture Committee and the and bringing it to the floor, the uh, the Democratic leadership added over seven billion dollars worth of tax increases to the bill, and it and it turned it into a very uh, it was a very ugly debate on the House floor. It was uh, a partisan vote ultimately, which is disappointing for the farm bill. I, I don't believe that these tax increases will survive ultimately.